modern fighter jets don't win wars just by flying faster anymore. In today's air battles, pilots often defeat enemies they never even see, while many countries spend billions trying to redesign engines for more speed and power. One nation chose a completely different path, upgrading its fighter jets without touching the engine at all. Instead of focusing on raw thrust, this strategy focuses on intelligence, awareness, and control of the battlefield. It's faster, cheaper, and proven in real combat. In this video, begin uncovering how this approach reshaped modern air power and why engines are no longer the heart of fighter jet superiority. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. When people imagine a powerful fighter jet, they usually think about speed, afterburners, massive engines pushing the aircraft through the sky. For decades, engine performance was considered the most important factor in air combat. Jets were seen as superior, and nations competed to build stronger and more powerful engines. However, modern air warfare has fundamentally changed this reality. Today, fighter jets rarely engage in close range dogfights. Most air battles are decided at long distances using advanced missiles, sensors, and data networks. Pilots rely on radar, infrared sensors, digital information rather than visual contact. In this environment, speed alone does not guarantee victory. What truly matters is who detects the enemy first, who understands the situation faster, and who can respond more accurately. Pays low and close. Israel was one of the first countries to fully adapt to this shift. Operating in a region where threats can emerge without warning, Israel cannot afford slow modernization programs or experimental upgrades that ground aircraft for years. Fighter jet must remain ready for immediate deployment. This operational pressure forced Israeli planners to rethink traditional upgrade strategies. Instead of redesigning engines or building entirely new aircraft, Israel chose to preserve what already works. Modern fighter jet engines are highly reliable, powerful, and optimized for their airframes. Replacing them introduces major risks. A new engine affects balance, airflow, cooling systems, fuel consumption, and even flight control software. And certification alone can take many years. During that time, aircraft are unavailable for combat missions. Recognize that these risks were unnecessary. Existing engines already provide sufficient speed, range, performance for real combat scenarios. The real limitations were not mechanical. They were informational. Older jets lacked modern sensors, advanced avionics, and the ability to integrate seamlessly into a digital battlefield. This realization led to a completely different upgrade philosophy. Instead of improving how fast the jet flies, focused on improving how smart it is. By upgrading avionics, radar systems, electronic warfare equipment, and mission software, fighter jets could gain capabilities comparable to much newer platforms. Most importantly, these upgrades could be done while keeping the aircraft operational. Another key factor behind this strategy is cost. Developing a new fighter engine can cost billions of dollars. Even then, the improvement in combat effectiveness may be minimal compared to the investment. Israel chose to spend resources where they deliver the greatest return. On systems that directly influence detection, targeting, and survivability, allows older fighter jets to remain relevant for decades. Instead of retiring aircraft early, they are continuously improved and adapted to new threats. The jet's body and engine remain stable, while its brain and senses evolve over time. Air power is no longer defined by raw speed or engine size. It is defined by intelligence, connectivity, and adaptability. L's upgrade strategy proves that in today's wars, the smartest aircraft, not the fastest, often controls the sky. One of the biggest misconceptions about fighter jet modernization is the belief that engine upgrades automatically mean better combat performance. In reality, modern air warfare rarely pushes engines to their absolute limits. Today's fighter jet engines already provide exceptional thrust, reliability, and endurance. What often limits a jet's effectiveness is not how fast it can fly, but how well it can detect threats, process information, and survive in a complex battle space. 
This understanding is central to why Israel avoids manufacturing or redesigning engines during upgrades. Changing an engine is one of the most disruptive actions possible in aviation. An engine is not an isolated component. It is deeply integrated into the aircraft structure. A new engine affects weight distribution, airflow, heat management, fuel efficiency, flight control behavior. Even minor changes can require redesigning air intakes, strengthening internal structures, writing flight software. This leads to years of testing, validation, and certification. During that time, aircraft are often grounded or restricted, reducing operational readiness. For a country like Israel, readiness is non-negotiable. Jets must be available at all times to respond to sudden threats. Long upgrade cycles create dangerous capability gaps. Keeping engines unchanged, Israel avoids these risks entirely. Aircraft remain safe, reliable, fully mission, capable while other systems are upgraded in parallel. Another major advantage of retaining existing engines is logistical stability. Maintenance crews are already trained on known systems. Spare parts are stocked and supply chains are established. Introducing a new engine would require retraining personnel, building new maintenance infrastructure, and securing long-term parts availability. All of this increases cost and complexity without guaranteeing proportional combat benefits. Instead of focusing on propulsion, Israeli upgrades prioritize systems that directly shape combat outcomes. Radar technology is a prime example. Radar upgrades dramatically increase detection range, target resolution, and resistance to jamming. A fighter jet that detects an enemy earlier can launch weapons first, disengage safely, or coordinate with allied forces. In such scenarios, performance becomes secondary. Data connectivity is another critical focus. Modern combat is network-centric. Jets no longer operate alone. They share information with other aircraft, ground-based radars, drones, and command centers. Advanced data links allow real-time exchange of targeting information, threat warnings, and mission updates. This creates a unified battlefield picture that gives pilots superior situational awareness. Again, none of this requires an engine change. Electronic warfare further demonstrates why engines matter less than systems. Advanced jammers, decoys, and warning receivers allow aircraft to operate in heavily defended environments. These systems can blind enemy radars, confuse missile guidance, protect entire formations. Their effectiveness depends on software, signal processing, and intelligence, not speed or thrust. Weapons evolution also supports this strategy. Modern air to air and air to ground weapons are designed for long range precision. A fighter jet does not need extreme speed to be lethal when it can strike accurately from beyond visual range. Precision, guided munitions reduce exposure to enemy defenses and minimize the need for aggressive maneuvering. By avoiding engine redesigns, Israel reallocates resources toward faster, smarter, and more flexible upgrades. Systems can be updated incrementally, often through software, allowing rapid adaptation to emerging threats. This agility is impossible when upgrades depend on major mechanical changes. Ultimately, this approach reflects a deep understanding of modern warfare. Engines provide the platform, but systems define the fight. Preserving reliable engines and continuously upgrading everything else, Israel ensures its fighter jets remain effective, adaptable, without sacrificing time, safety, or operational availability. The most powerful transformation in modern fighter jets does not come from metal or machinery. It comes from software, avionics, digital integration. This is where Israel's upgrade strategy reaches its full potential, by treating the aircraft as a continuously evolving digital platform. Jets gain new capabilities year after year without changing their engines or airframes. Avionics form the digital brain of the aircraft. Modern mission computers can process enormous volumes of data in real time, combining radar inputs, infrared imagery, electronic intelligence, navigation data, and off-board information from other platforms. Instead of forcing pilots to manage each system separately, advanced avionics fuse all inputs into a single, coherent picture. This dramatically reduces workload 
and allows pilots to focus on tactics rather than data management. Mounted display systems push this advantage even further. Pilots no longer need to look down at instruments or align the aircraft to engage a target. Critical information, such as target position, threat alerts, and navigation data, is projected directly into the pilot's line of sight. This capability saves seconds. Air combat seconds often decide survival. None of this requires additional engine power. It requires intelligent system design, software, Driven upgrades are another key advantage. Traditional aircraft upgrades relied heavily on hardware changes, which are slow, expensive, difficult to reverse. Software allows rapid adaptation. New threats, enemy radar systems, and missile technologies can be countered through updates rather than physical modifications. This means fighter jets can adapt to emerging dangers almost immediately, instead of waiting years for mechanical upgrades. Electronic warfare systems benefit enormously from this approach. Modern jamming, deception, and countermeasure systems depend on signal processing and threat libraries that are constantly updated based on intelligence and real world encounters. Aircraft can be reprogrammed to counter new enemy systems without changing any physical components. This adaptability allows fighter jets to operate safely in environments that would have been extremely dangerous just a few years earlier. Weapons integration also highlights why engines are no longer the centerpiece of combat power. Modern precision, guided weapons, long-range air-to-air missiles, and stand-off munitions allow aircraft to strike from distances where speed and maneuverability matter far less. Grading targeting systems, fire control software, and sensor integration enables older aircraft to use the latest weapons effectively, as long as the engine can carry the payload and reach the launch point. Additional thrust offers limited advantage. This strategy significantly extends the service life of fighter jets. Aircraft that might otherwise be retired after a few decades remain effective and relevant. The engine and airframe provide a stable foundation, while systems evolve continuously. This reduces the need for frequent fleet replacement and allows resources to be focused on quality rather than quantity. Perhaps most importantly, this approach ensures constant operational readiness. Aircraft do not need to be removed from service for long periods, can be introduced incrementally, often during routine maintenance. In a fast, changing security environment, this flexibility is invaluable. Looking ahead, the future of air combat clearly favors this model. Engines will remain reliable and proven, while intelligence systems, software, networks evolve rapidly. Victory in the sky will belong to the aircraft that can see first, decide first, act first, not necessarily the one that flies fastest. If you found this deep analysis valuable, like the video, subscribe to the channel on notifications for more detailed military technology breakdowns. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think software and systems now matter more than engines in modern air combat? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.